Hi, this is Kerry Artak with Wicked Stocks, bringing you your daily Apple report for Tuesday, June 20th, 2023. Before we jump into the charts, I want to express our excitement in reaching the 20,000 subscriber level on YouTube. In celebration, today we're offering our SPY and Triple Q analysis for Tuesday, June 20th, completely free. Be sure to check out both of those videos on our YouTube channel. We're truly grateful for the support and dedication of our YouTube subscribers like you, as you've played a crucial role in our growth at Wicked Stocks. And as a gesture of our gratitude, we're offering you a special discount of 20% off your first month on WickedStocks.com. Our website provides daily analysis on the SPY and Triple Q, weekly analysis on the S&P 500, NASDAQ 100, and the Long Bond ETF, the TLT, as well as two individual stock picks every week you never see on YouTube that cater to the three to five week longer term swing trader to the three to five month near term investor. So to get that 20% off your first month, simply use the code WICKED20 during checkout. Thank you so much for your support and we look forward to continuing to provide you valuable analytical insights at wickedstocks.com. Let's take a look at the chart, start with the big picture, work our way into the day itself. Just a reminder that seven weeks ago, we closed above this significant descending channel top. This is a weekly chart. Uh, at 170.18 this week, that signaled uh, 220.82 as a long-term target. And by long-term, I'm talking uh, possibly by the end of the year, could be sooner. Last week, for the week itself, we settled for the first time above that previous January 22 all-time high of 182.94. We pushed through it the previous week, closed below it the previous week. Last week, we closed above it. This should maintain steady building pressure, buying pressures to build, building buying pressures. How do we say that? Uh, we should see bullish continuation as we move into July, August, September. I now see 220.82 as a potential three to five month upside objective that the move continues following last week's secondary buy signal above 182.94. Now, for the day itself, where to begin? I'm going to show this chart here. Now, this uh, rising channel structure, 184.65, I have as an intraday support, well suited for uh, aggressive day traders. Uh, we closed just above it last Friday, 184.92. 184.65 can contain intraday weakness, above which 186.99, nothing more than last Friday's high, in reach on an intraday basis. That is kind of the intraday dynamic uh, you know, for aggressive day traders. Now, if we break or open below 184.65, 18360, the actual sister channel formation base uh, is in reach, is likely below 184.65. And 18360 is at this point in time, I'm going to call it a range of support down to 182.94 that I've already uh, shown that 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 is the previous January 22 all-time high. This range, 182.94 to 183.60, can absorb weekly selling pressures. And as I said a moment ago, above which bullish momentum remains intact this week and into July trade, we can push into the upper 180s, low 190s over the next week or two. In fact, we should push into the upper 180s, the low 190s over the next week or two, possibly this week. If we push through today, 186.99, we might reach 189.57 uh, today, which is nothing more than a, a two-week rising channel top at 189.57. And I like it as a weekly resistance level because it backs up this longer-term channel top that goes back to the March low at 190.71. So, you know, 182.94 to 183.60 is your base of support for the week. It is a decent area to buy into and above which we can buy by Friday's close, uh, by the end of next week, at the very latest, reach this 190.71 rising channel top. This is an area that can contain weekly buying pressures. There's nothing to say that this rally that I'm expecting in the later year is going to be straight up. You know, it is more like two steps forward, one step back. And so, you know, we can push into the low, into the upper 180s, low 190s, and fall off from here uh, into next week. I don't know all the way back to 182.94. That is certainly possible, uh, but that could be the play. I would call the one to two week dynamic a base of support at 182.94 and a ceiling of resistance at 190.71, both of which able to contain weekly activity. Now, this 190.71 formation is likely to give way over the next few weeks. Uh, and if we close above it, uh, even further upside momentum uh, is to be uh, expected. 
uh, is to be, uh, you know, supported. And as I've been saying, closing above 190.71 sooner than later uh, should actually yield this 203.73 steeply rising channel top on the weekly chart within a matter of two to three weeks where we can top out on a monthly basis. This on the way up to the 220.82 longer term objective. And I pretty much covered the upside. Let's talk about the downside. You know that in the event, you know, we uh, close below, where is that chart? 182.94, which uh, is preceded by 183.60. So if we close today below 182.94, that does pivot the market aggressively south into later week and is well suited for three to five day swing traders. So closing below 182.94, we do have a decent range of support now between 177.68, this three month channel bottom, and 179.05, this new two to three week channel bottom, mostly horizontal and structure. This area in the upper 170s able to contain weekly selling pressure. So that is kind of the way the chart is developing out right now. You know, I like to swing for the fences. I like to give really solid two to three week, two to three month directional signals in my analysis, uh, you know, so that you can sort of, uh, you know, establish yourself in a sustained move. But what I'm seeing with Apple right now, despite the fact that we have a longer term buy signal that should be acted upon, and perhaps you did seven weeks ago by, you know, initially buying those 183, 184 out of the money calls or presently still the 210, 220, 230 out of the money calls that don't expire for at least a full year because that is the big picture. But in terms of, you know, the three to five day, one to two week dynamic, that is about all I can get right now. You know, closing below 182.94, three to five day sell signal into the upper 170s. Closing below the upper 170s, three to five day sell signal into the lower 170s. So there's no way for me right now to confidently say that you can sell the market at a certain point presently and until the lower 170s. It's just not there. The only way I see the lower 170s long-term support presenting itself is if we were to close sooner than later below this convergent structure between 177.68 and 179.05. And if we did close below 177.68, then yes, I would expect a retest of this 170.18 channel top within three to five more days. But this picture pretty much says it all. Long-term buy signal into the 220s rising weekly, and that was confirmed last week, essentially, with the settlement above that previous all-time high of 182.94. Uh, you can buy 182.94, 183.60 this week. That is our early support. And above which, once again, the upper 180s, low 190s are expected over the next week or two, quite possibly this week, where we can top out on a weekly basis. And there you have it again, kind of the one to two week time frame. Closing above 190.71 actually would provide that two to three week buy signal that I like to play. And that would then, uh, you know, uh, indicate the 203.73 rising channel top. And that is the next sort of big picture play to the upside. Downside is a series of stair steps uh, on the way down, perhaps, to 170.18. You know, I think I've pretty much fleshed it out. I can't think of anything else there is to say. I will just reemphasize that the day trade dynamic, two-sided between 184.65 and 186.99, if we break or open below 184.65, expect that 182.94 to 183.60 region today, where we can bottom out for the week. Good bottom picking territory for three to five day, one to two week swing traders, because from here we can rally into the low 190s within a week or two of doing so, where the three to five day swing trade, one to two week swing trade shifts back into the negative column, unless we close, of course, above 190.71. Last thing I'll say is, and I don't expect to see this today, but if we do close below 182.94, three to five day, one to two week swing trade shifts negative, expecting the upper 170s, uh, likely within three to five days, where we can bottom out through next week, possibly into later July, so forth and so on, on what could be, I, I actually don't expect it. I don't expect to see 170.18 anytime soon. That's the last thing I'm going to say, unless, of course, we close below, you know, this structure here, these structures in the 177.68 to 179.05 area. I'm going to leave it at that for Tuesday's Apple. Please click like, subscribe, share the content if you would. Check out wickedstocks.com. I'll be back tomorrow, the Wednesdays. You have a great day.